Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolotech, and we're going to take a look at iOS 5. I've upgraded the phone. I've actually restored from iOS 4.2 or whatever the last one was. Uh, I've restored the last backup, but I haven't set up the phone yet. I haven't logged into the phone. And now you can set up a phone on iOS 5 without actually attaching it to a computer or anything like that. So we're going to take a look at what that looks like. We're just rebooting now. We'll give it a moment, and once it comes up, we should be able to sign in. So uh, this will take a moment, and we'll take a look at it. It's supposed to have quite a few new features. We can take pictures with this button now, that sort of thing. So here, here we are. It's booted up. It says iPhone. Okay, sign in with Apple ID. I'll go ahead and do that here. I've signed in. Let's see what we get here. It'll take a moment. Now, one thing to note, when it was doing its initial sync, there was a little sync wheel that you see familiar with the Mac uh, up in the top here, and it was just spinning. There we go. Um, sure, I'll send diagnostic information. Why not? Start using iPhone. Okay, so what it's done is actually put all of my apps back in place, sort of. Kind of a weird page here with the reminders. And that's that. So it looks pretty familiar, although we have newsstand, which I don't know if it works or not. Let's see if we can get anything in here. Not yet, but that's okay, I guess. Now, one thing to note right off the bat here is there is a music icon. There's no longer iPod. It says music and you've got videos just like you do on your iPad or iPod Touch. So it looks like they're kind of bringing everything together. Reminders looked pretty interesting that you could set up like a GPS location. So let's see if we can do that. Um, pick up groceries. We'll, we'll try that. Our groceries. There we are. We'll go ahead and check that. Remind me at location. We'll turn that on. You can notice all the all the icons are now rounded. Uh, when I when I arrive, I guess, at this little, well, when I leave at this location. So what it's supposed to do is put up a grid when I leave my house. It should pop this, uh, pop this uh, notification up, and that's that. So that's pretty interesting. Try some of that later. Uh, let's see what else we've got here. So there are quite a few different options, I guess. You can see the they're consistent now. The, the buttons have changed as far as the on-off switches. Let's see what we've got. We've got an option for iCloud. We have a FaceTime option. We have a Twitter option. So we can install the Twitter app, I'm assuming. Yeah. We can install the Twitter app. Put this in quick. Now, I do use a Twitter application. I do use a Twitter application called TweetBot. Uh, this one wants you to use theirs. doesn't matter to me. I like TweetBot. Uh, we'll sign into Twitter. So if those of you haven't followed me yet, ANZOLO, it's for Zolotech. Uh, follow me on there. If you want more updates, you can do that. We'll sign in. Okay. Looks like we can update contacts. That's pretty neat. There we go. We'll go back to settings. And let's see, uh, we will go here, take a picture, I guess, and see if we have the Twitter option. We'll go to photos, go to camera roll, we have a Twitter option. Uh, where's the picture I just took? Oh, oh, here it is. It's right there. Either way, let's go ahead and hit this button. And down here we have tweet, print, all those things. Tweet. Let's see what happens here. It's taking a moment. Uh, recording a video. Video. And showing a tweet from iOS 5. There we go. And then we send. And it should auto attach that to Twitter, which is pretty neat. And you heard that little ding there. So that works pretty well, I guess. All integrated in there. Uh, email should be a little bit different. Some people posting comments. Uh, we hit edit. Yeah, we have move and mark. 
guess we can mark one move receipt to PayPal I guess so that's neat let's go into the App Store there's some other differences here now this should be live for just about anybody on iOS uh, there is under updates I noticed this before I upgraded under updates we have our purchased items from before then also under iTunes the store here we should have a download or a purchased right here so this is things we've purchased that we can grab again very nice uh, not everything is active yet there's more there's a lot more to the OS than that I guess but uh, that's kinda what Apple announced uh, they announced some Game Center updates as well uh, I don't really use Game Center but let's go into it I guess here's Game Center friend requests and now have your, your picture I guess on it yeah that's fine okay so friends there's me so that's pretty neat I guess there's you can there's some suggestions with games and things like that not a huge thing to me uh, the the syncing I thought was neat, the reminders, the Twitter. There's so many little updates to this uh, that do things like the notification. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, notification bar at the top. I don't know who these phone numbers are. If you want to call them, uh, feel free. I have no idea who they are. They keep contacting me. So this is uh, some interesting things here. These are your notification bar. Huge difference. Uh, you can see it's Baldensville where I'm at. It's 55. Tells the high and low, which is neat. Gives my email notifications, missed calls, things like that. And if we, I guess, whoever this is, we can go into that. And I guess, yeah, it'll call them. I'm not sure who that is, like I said, so whatever. But there we go. That's pretty neat. So we have notifications at any time. Very Android-like there. A uh, little bit different, but sort of Android like if we want to clear out all of these I guess we can hit this hit clear hit this hit clear there should be supposed to be notifications on the lock screen too but maybe that's for new ones I'm not sure let's try Zolo tech as it's supposed to have some interesting uh, threading options or or full view options I don't know that it will yet or not but let's see The browser's supposed to be a little bit different and get out of the way, that sort of thing. Um, maybe it doesn't happen here, but I can tweet this page, I guess. Let's go into this. See what we get. Maybe it has to be a lot of text. I'm not sure how that how that works or what what the uh, what it specifies, but or what what makes that useful or whatever. Let's go in here. See if anything's changed. You know, I did like the iPod icon and they got rid of it. That's too bad. But not too big of a deal. Now you're supposed to be able to sync over the air. Let's go to settings and see. Uh, maybe under general. Oh, we have a software update option here. It's checking for updates. That's different. Well, that's different. Too slow, but there shouldn't be any updates. Anyway, iTunes sync. Um... When the computer's available, it'll resume. I'm doing some other things with the computer right now. Uh, that's pretty interesting. There's a lot of different things in this OS version, and uh, I I can't wait to see you know what I can do more. It's supposed to be mirroring mode to the Apple TV, lots of other things. But uh, if there's anything specific you have questions about, I'll try and answer those uh, as much as I can. I can't really show anything that's not been shown already by Apple, so. Uh, beyond what we've already seen here I can't really go too much into oh let's go into the camera real quick since we there's supposed to be some new options let's see what we've got for options here okay so we have a grid so we can do the the rule of thirds thing that they were talking about uh, we can also I guess take a picture with this button yeah that works we should be able to also edit them as well let's see if we go into here come on Okay, so not all those options are here yet. Maybe in the future. Uh, but that's supposed to be due out in the fall. But again, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'll try and answer any of, any of them that I can. This is Aaron. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.